When emotions are repressed, it means that you unconsciously avoid certain emotions. It's not the same as suppressed emotions. No, suppressed emotions are feelings we deliberately avoid because we do not know how we can handle them. We often suppress our emotions when, say, midway through a presentation. We remember a recent breakup and feel sad. A healthy person can then later release those emotions in the company of friends or when alone with their journal and a box of tissues and maybe candy or ice cream. The problem arises when our emotions are so repressed or so suppressed that not only do we hide how we feel in public, we just don't know how we feel even when we're alone or when we're with people that we care about. Repressed emotions don't get a chance to be processed, but that doesn't mean they disappear. Instead, they might show up as a range of psychological or physical symptoms. When you hate being asked how you feel about something or someone, it may be a sign that you are emotionally repressed. If you are emotionally repressed, showing or understanding your emotions will be a problem in all areas of your life. Not just some, all areas. So if you are affectionate and open up with friends and family, but struggle to relax around colleagues, it could be more of a case of something like job jitters or a personality clash. In this video, I will be sharing with you 7 signs that, that may hint that you are emotionally repressed. If you are new here, do consider subscribing, it really does help our channel. Alright, let's dive into it. Number 1. You hate being asked how you feel. When you are emotionally repressed, you hate to discuss your feelings. You hate to be asked how you are feeling. You're withdrawn, quiet, and indifferent. You seem apathetic, and you're uncomfortable when others show so much emotions around you. For instance, when someone attempts to talk about your feelings, you feel like they're trying to intrude into your life. You may appreciate and love your friends and family members, yet you are not seen as a sentimental person. You are not into expressing emotions of sentiments. When asked if you are fine, you will always say fine. You are always fine. You evade questions that require you to talk about how you feel. You don't think it's anyone's business how you feel, so you don't respond to questions or concern yourself with anything that's related to your emotions. Number 2. You struggle with emotional intimacy. Emotionally repressed people are often afraid of being emotionally intimate with others. Why is this so? When they are emotionally intimate with others, it compels them to face their true feelings and they do not like to do this. They would rather avoid facing their feelings and ultimately not be emotionally intimate. When you share emotional intimacy with a person, it becomes easy for them to notice your weaknesses. You would reveal your secrets to them and somehow they would know you for who you are. Being an emotionally repressed individual, you hate to see this happen. If you are emotionally repressed, you do not experience the closeness of friendships and having, uh, well, a confidant, someone to confide in. You don't experience friendships, you have no one to confide in, neither do you hope on having any lasting relationship because, well, you can't seem to be emotionally intimate. Number 3. You have extreme mood swings. 
When you continuously experience extreme mood swings and you seem to be emotionally volatile, both are obvious signs that you are repressing your emotions. If you have ever caught yourself melting down when you hardly can explain the cause, you may be emotionally repressed. If you have ever had an emotional breakdown before where you couldn't stop crying, screaming or lashing out in anger, then that's a very clear sign that you are definitely emotionally repressed. You don't resolve the issues you're experiencing in a healthy manner. Instead, you push them aside and act like they don't exist. However, it doesn't matter how hard you push down those feelings, things will not get better doing them that way of course. They'd only get worse, you'd only become more negative as you take out your anger on others or yourself. Number 4. Fourth sign that you're emotionally repressed. You deny all your problems. Denial is a common coping mechanism and something a lot of us are guilty of doing from time to time. After all, it's so much easier to pretend like your problems don't exist rather than finding a solution to them or confronting your feelings head on. So, do you avoid your loved ones when they're mad at you instead of merely talking things over? Do you agree to things that you don't want to do and pretend to enjoy things just to make other people happy? Do you wait until the absolute last minute to try and do something to help yourself get out of a tough situation? Like a deadline or failing grade? This difficulty, admitting to yourself when something is wrong, is very much of a sign that, well, there's a lot more serious underlying problem. Number 5. You hold grudges against people. Harboring grudges against people and being vindictive is a very telling sign that you are holding back on your emotions. It shows that you are not prepared to deal with your emotions right away, but would rather instead let them linger over time. You have had a hard time forgiving even the people you love the most because you still haven't come to terms with all the pain and harm that they've inflicted on you, even if it was unintentional. Heck, you fixate on all the times that they've hurt you and you're unable to let your feelings of anger and disappointment go. Number 6. You rarely get emotional. Cold detached, withdrawn, indifferent and impassive are all the words most people would use to describe you. You don't cry, you don't yell, you hardly get upset and you rarely ever get excited about anything. Not only do you dislike talking about your feelings but you'd also rather not show anyone that you have any at all because deep down inside you think you having emotions like anger and sadness is a liability and you've resolved just to close yourself off and not feel anything at all or most of the time you've been badly hurt in the past and you don't want to feel overwhelmed by your emotions again it's sporadic for you to get emotional about anything but when you do things get spicy and dicey Number 7. You're always just… fine. Another sign that you may be suppressing your emotions without realizing it is if you have a habit of saying, I'm fine, all the time. You reassure your friends and families with empty platitudes like, oh, everything's great, or I'm doing really, really well, even though you don't actually mean it. You don't feel comfortable admitting when you're not okay. You don't feel comfortable letting other people see you struggle. And instead of asking for help or confronting your feelings like you know you should, you just keep it all bottled up inside and put on a fake smile to fool everyone into thinking you're fine. But in reality, 
while you may be fooling your friends and families, you are also fooling yourself. Repressing your emotions isn't a good way to deal with issues. Too often it puts you at high risk of developing much more severe psychological issues such as anxiety, depression and emotional trauma. If you are having trouble expressing your emotions and coming to terms with certain experiences in life, do reach out to a mental health care professional today and get the help that you need. This has been a video on several ample signs that you may be emotionally repressed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.